Rockville's Pike Envision a Great Place is ramping back up again with a presentation of the draft plan scheduled to happen this month at a joint session with the Mayor and Council and Planning Commission. We have the chance to check in with Chief of Long Range Planning, David Levy, to find out more about the process. As folks probably remember, there were lots of public meetings. Uh, there were uh, there were uh, reports from our consultant team um, discussing analysis that have been conducted. That has been all brought together into draft document. Actually, there have been drafts for public uh, for staff review, and we've given extensive comments for, so that uh, it's clearer and presented in a better way. Um, so what we're about to have is a release of the document, and what we really want is the, are the citizens to review, read, and tell us what they think about it. Well, I know that during the, the um, charrette process and open houses, there was a lot of energy around this project. Are you, are you hoping for that same amount of citizen involvement uh, with this draft being released? Uh, we are, actually. Uh, there's, it's not going to be the same kind of interaction that it has been. There will be a presentation at Mayor and Council, and there will be a public presentation uh, on January 11th, which Montgomery High School. Um, and what we really want is people to look at the document and read it. It's going to be available online, electronically, and here for review and hard copy. But what's important is that people have to see whether the input that they gave, combined with the analysis, produces a set of recommendations that reflects what they think ought to be for Rockville. And then they should speak. Uh, at the public hearing, they should give written testimony. This is this is what we really need from people now. Tell us what you think of this draft document. So the draft is really more of a kind of a fluid situation. I mean, people people shouldn't think of it as being set in stone right now. Absolutely not. No, this is the draft. So just to set people in terms of what it is, it is the plan for the Rockville Pike corridor which uh, begins at the southern border of the city around Boo Avenue um, up to uh, around where Richard Montgomery High um, is uh, next to 355 and the land around it. It's not just the road, it's the land around it and how it gets used and, uh, and built or not built. Um, and when it gets adopted or approved, if it gets adopted or approved by the Planning Commission and the Mayor and Council, it becomes part of the city's master plan. It is a master plan element and it gives guidance to all we city staff and builders, developers, everybody on what the city's policies are with respect to this area. It also gives guidance on what infrastructure improvements uh, we would want to see along those areas. And just to give a little preview, um, for those who came to some of the public meetings, there's a recommendation to convert the pike from what it is now, just kind of a suburban commercial strip, into much more uh, a boulevard, which would be much more uh, accessible for pedestrians, uh, cyclists, uh, much more uh, a nicer place to be. I mean, that's the goal. The goal is to take this place where lots of people go to, and they know lots of people go to because it's crowded and difficult to navigate and not always the most fun experience, convert that into something that you say, yes, this is a place that I really like, I want to be at, I'm going to park my car and I'm going to get out and promenade or walk, I'm going to shop and support businesses because I want to be here. And as we know, there are increasing amounts of people living in buildings in the Pike area, uh, not just in Town Square, which is north of this planning area, but further south in Congressional Village and um, Twinbrook Station. We know what's happening around the metro station. So. Um, uh, the goal here is to make this a great place. Tell me a little bit, David, about some of the analytical work that's gone into this draft and uh, on, the, on the part of your staff and other um, departments in the city in terms of, for example, traffic on the pike. Right. So one of the things that the original analysis um, uh, called out, again, for folks who came to the public meetings, some of the intersection, uh, this is no big news, everybody, there's traffic on the pike. Um, uh, that the um, some of the intersections um, along Rockville Pike um, are, depending on the time of day, um, at um, failing as we judge intersections um, w within the city of Rockville. Um, uh, you'll know where they are along in Congressional and Halpine and other intersections along there. It gets very busy in the, in the afternoons during the week. 
uh, certainly on Saturdays, if people have experienced that. Uh, the analysis that was done was to try to understand how that has an interaction with the ability for sites to redevelop. For the, for the vision to take place as recommended by the consultant team, which is what we'll all be discussing, certain sites will almost certainly need to be redeveloped. That's the way the, the vision happens. Um, if the redevelopment can't happen, then the vision can't happen. So this analysis helped to make a linkage between the traffic capacity that's on the road and the ability for redevelopment to happen. It's been embodied in a technical memorandum that's an appendix to the draft document, so folks will be able to read uh, the results and conclusions of it. The, the biggest thing of all is we want to hear what you have to say. That is the number one thing. So we have helped to kind of uh, pull together points of view during the, the, the public processes uh, with the consultants, but it really comes down to what do the citizens of Rockville, uh, the businesses in Rockville, the property owners in Rockville, what do you see as the vision going forward? And we won't know unless you tell us. So take a look, uh, read it, and give us your input. Um, and come to the public hearing or give us written uh, input. To learn more about Rockville Spike, go online to rockvillemd.gov and search Rockville Spike.